him a big booster there. He gets inside of Kenseth again, but they leave him out. No help. They didn't help him. But he got back in line there. That was a great move. He forced his way in front of A.J. Allmendinger, or uh, in front of, uh, uh, yeah, Allmendinger. And then that energy pushed Matt Kenseth, gave him a big boost, and he goes to the inside by Martin Truex Jr. and going to get to the inside of Kurt Busch. This is going to create... Uh, all kinds of racing now. You're going to see everybody going for it now. They know they've got to get up there back to the lead or up to the front if they're going to have a shot at this win. Yeah, once Matt Kitts has got to, in the position he's in, he's got a fast race car. So does Jimmy Johnson. They need to try to figure out a way to get back up there and work challenge for the lead. Coming to three laps to go. Oh. Jeff, they told him he was two laps short, and we're coming up. Two laps, yeah. Two laps is five miles. That's a uh, lot. That's a lot. I, I think maybe he was saving a little fuel there a time or two. That's why he fell back a little bit, maybe. But how are you going to save fuel and stay in this lead pack? And you, I think that's exactly what you're, you're absolutely right, D.W. The reason why he was hanging back a little bit is he's running quarter throttle, trying to do everything he can to save as much fuel as possible. Yeah, just let the draft pull you along. You're not going to go anywhere, but you're not going to lose it. I can tell you, he's not saving fuel right now. That's Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson. They, they need to work together. If they're going to win this race or have a shot, they've got to work together. Oh, Matt had a great run, had Jimmy with them, but it didn't last long. And oh, Jimmy's going to go with Matt's teammate, Carl Edwards. Go to that high line. Going to leave Matt out, out to dry. Oh, whoa. 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 Now easy, fellas. That's close. And Casey Mears. And Mears is out of out fuel. Of gas. Out of fuel. Two to go. Freaking out of gas. It's a sitting duck. That 18 car out front right there, that big lead, they're going to eat him they, up. They are absolutely going to eat him up. If I'm Jamie McMurray right now, I'm going to make sure I don't get too much of a gap between me and Jimmy Johnson, get all the energy from those cars behind me, get a big push, and go right on by. Explain why, with a lap and a half to go, a big lead is the worst thing to have here. Yeah, the more you get out there, the easier it is for our cars behind you to get momentum and, and, and get a big run on you. We talk, We heard Denny Hamlin in that first duel talk about getting a run. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Push to block, down to the bottom, up to the top. Push oh, to no! block. What a mess. Matt Kenseth. His car pretty well torn up, and they will have to fix it if he's going to retain his outside front row start for the 500. <laughs> Mike, if they go to a backup yeah. car, uh, uh, that's, that's a backup car. car. That baby's crashed. And, and that's he goes really, to the back. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Martin that's, Truex. That's exactly what you don't want to see. And by the way, the race is over. The leader was past the line back there. Checkered flag and Kyle Busch scores his third duel win in 12 tries. He's won a duel two of the last four seasons. It's the ninth duel win for Joe Gibbs Racing. But some of the Daytona 500 favorites, Johnson, Truex, Kenseth, wrecked along with Almondinger and others. Well, we knew it was going to get dicey. It got wild. Let's have a look. Now, this is just a sign of how bad everybody wants to win this race. Jamie McMurray, great restrictor plate uh, driver. He, he gets a, a good run, but he doesn't quite get there. And then he moves up to block the 48, who has a good run coming on the outside. They make contact. And here's the results of that. Bush just went right through there in a shower of sparks. Here are the three most badly damaged cars. And Danica Patrick. where Jimmy Johnson just started to get a bumper to the rear bumper or the quarter panel of the of the one. Man, look at that 20 car go up under the back of the Martin Trex car. Just lifted it off the ground.
Let's have a look from the Goodyear blimp at the overlap between the 1 and 48 as they come through the trioval here. So there is Jimmy Johnson, third in line. You're going to see the number one of Jamie McMurray getting a big run here. He's got a little bit more of a gap to the 48 than I think he'd like. He tried to make the move. Kyle closed the door. He comes up. He knows if he gets in front of Jimmy Johnson, that's going to be the push that he needs to get by the 18. Unfortunately, he was just a little late getting there, and then they make contact and turn Jimmy uh, all the way around, and then he gets hit from behind. Well, McMurray had to, I mean, when the 18 was so far out in front, uh, McMurray had this incredible run, and he was coming up on the back of, Matt, of uh, Kyle Busch in the 18, but he didn't have anywhere to go, and here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's got to run on McMurray, and he doesn't have anywhere to go, and they bottle up and wreck. Now look at Kurt Busch in the 41. He's going to get a lot of damage, but he is able to continue on and finish third wow. behind Kyle Busch and McMurray. I guess the question will be on the 41, is that repairable damage? Will they have to go to a backup car? Because he's certainly going to get a good starting position if he finishes yeah. uh, fourth. I think the right side of that car is pretty torn up. I, I'm not sure they can fix that. We certainly know they can't fix any of these cars. They no, 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 no. The, the 20 car, watch him go up on the back of the 78. A wild finish in Daytona for race two of the Can-Am Duel. Stick around, we'll have complete post-race coverage on Fox Sports Live. Let's join Mike Hill and Ryan Field.